Jennifer from The Good Life. If this is your first time watching my channel, please like and subscribe. I would love to get to know you a little bit more. In this video, we'll be putting together the owl wreath and the first three steps. So stay tuned and keep watching. So technically, the step one is a big step. So I'm actually gonna use the bullet points as a step. And the first step is the se to sequin the front of the wreath and uh, to use the front piece as a template to draw the circles onto a piece of poster board. Cut poster board out and set aside with the back piece. Now I'm going to do this later because I currently do not have a big enough piece of poster board to complete this task. So I'm just going to mark that for later and we're going to look at the front of the wreath and we're going to cut it out. This is the main piece that we'll be working on and it comes with two sides. One side is plain, that's the back side one side, so that's the back, so we're going to cut that out later. I'm going to keep that intact for now. And then here's the front. Oops, it's upside down. <laughs> and we'll be cutting this out, middle and the outside. So I'm going to show you the beginning of my cuts and the very ending of my cuts because I filmed easily over an hour's worth and I wanted to cut it down. So here's the beginning of my cut and then I'm going to speed up for the rest. Now that our outside rim is cut, we're going to be cutting the inside rib and just make a little slash in the middle so you can get your scissors in there and cut out the circle. Now that our wreath is cut out, we're going to be working on the first leaf, which is number three, and it's at the very top. Okay, so I'm looking at the sequin, the front of the wreath, and I'm not quite sure what that means. Normally there's a symbol or something that represents a sequin color, and I am not seeing any of that on the paper instructions or the picture. So, my mind is a little bit boggled at the moment. Um, I'm not sure. So, I'm just going to keep going and skip that. So, I'm just going to make a note here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe that's just a general instruction? I'm not sure. But, we'll be working on the leaves. So, I'm just going to mark that. We'll be moving on to step number two, which is embroider, sequin, and applique the leaves 3 through 19 to the wreath. Now we're going to be starting with number three. On the picture chart, it shows you exactly the kind of stitch that you'll be doing and the type of sequin that you'll be doing. So here's number three, and we're going to cut that out. leaf that we'll be working on and you can see that the stamps are nice and clear so you can follow the line which is really nice that's why I like these patterns and so we're gonna look for this dotted line on the chart so here's the dotted line and we'll be using the color golden brown and this tells you the kind of stitch you're doing and this tells you how many strands and this tells you the color so we'll be doing an outline stitch, which looks like that, and I will show you how to do this from the beginning and the ending. So here's my wheel of colored thread, nice and organized. Here's my golden brown thread. I'm going to show you how to separate one strand. 
And it's best to do one strand at a time, just to make your life easier. We will be using the embroidery needle, which is the thicker one and the bigger eye. So every time you use a piece of thread, always knot the ends together. And it takes practice to knot your thread. I didn't get it right the first few dozen times. And then I just take my little thread scissors and clean up the ends. This is the outline stitch and I will show you a few stitches so you get the hang of it.
next tutorial we'll be putting on more leaves and I'll be showing you step by step in every single stitch. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to help you out. Question of the day, what is your favorite uh, movie genre? My favorite movie genre is romantic comedies. I can't help but love those romantic comedies. <laughs> I do have another question for you. I've actually been thinking about reopening my Etsy store. I did have an Etsy store probably back in 2017 <laughs> selling random stuff and I've been thinking about opening one up again, uh, opening the same one up again and I want your input so please leave a comment down below whether you'd be interested in any of the stockings or projects that I make and I might consider opening reopening my Etsy store so please leave a comment down below click that like button if you like this video please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my latest content and I hope to see you guys next time bye hello wow. <laughs> and if you hello that might a little bit of that